duplicate in this day and age. I'm an attorney from the United States, and we just don't have hotels like this in the United States. A hundred years ago, a room cost seven and six, including electric lighting. But to keep warm, a fire in the sitting room was two shillings extra. London's high society loved it, and the Savoy gained the reputation of having the best parties in town. Eisenhower stayed here, so did Oscar Wilde and Noel Coward. Today's page boys attend to the every need of Liza Minnelli, Frank Sinatra and Elton John. Regular clients, famous or not, have their own file, with every personal preference catalogue, right down to their favourite radio station. Fred Jenkins is still greeting guests after 30 years at the Savoy's front door. He remembers the grand parties of stars like Charlie Chaplin. So many film stars there, Marlon Brando, among others. Charlie had all his family, but they were little children then. That was seven or eight. That was a wonderful evening. And this afternoon the ballroom will be full again. Preparations are well underway for the biggest party of the day. 300 underprivileged school children helping this grand hotel to celebrate. Jonathan Munro, ITN, at the Savoy. Finally, masses of mixed-up mongrels considered too scruffy to take part at Crufts are stars in their own show today. They're competing at Scruffs, where they'll be judged on their personality and not their pedigree. They call it Scruff's show, and that's certainly what you got. Although obviously much loved by their owners, these dogs wouldn't have a chance at Crufts. But fortunately, even the categories were not serious. Some dogs failed even such elementary tests. But nobody seemed to mind, as everybody just wanted to have a good time. No snobbery, no, bitch, no bitching. We're all here to enjoy ourselves with our dogs and have a nice day out. One of the judges is five-year-old Jamie Walker, recovering from being attacked by three rock violas a few weeks ago by mixing with as many dogs as possible. He'll see that many look remarkably like their owners. Sandra Mortimer and Susie won this heat and they're expected to have a good chance in the finals this afternoon. She's a mongrel, I'm not quite sure what she is. But a lot of people say she looks like me. But will Sandra and Susie cope any better than this with the obstacle course? One owner obviously didn't feel that such an effort was needed to win the prize. Christabel King, ITN, Scruff Show. That's it, we're back at five past seven. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, if you've got some fine weather this afternoon, I should make the most of it because it's going to turn much more unsettled everywhere in the next few days. It's still quite unsettled at the moment over northern and western parts of Britain, from North Wales, northwards really, certainly in the Northern Ireland and Scotland. Quite a lot of cloud, a little bit of sunshine, but quite a few showers too. And some of those showers fairly heavy, even the odd thunderstorm around. The rest of England and Wales mostly dry today, lots of sunshine through this afternoon. But in the south, it is fairly hazy sunshine, some thin high cloud around. Temperatures today, well, hot in the south, 30, that's 86 Fahrenheit, and well into the 80s in most places. Further north, well, up into the 70s, but quite cool on the east coast, particularly the east coast of Scotland, where it's fairly cloudy. Here's tomorrow's weather now. Well, it's a mixture everywhere. We're all in the same boat tomorrow. A fair bit of cloud around, a little bit of sunshine, but the risk of heavy showers almost anywhere. That's it. Here's a summary. Live and exclusive on ITV Today, there's coverage of the European Cup Final, the most important athletics event to be staged in Britain this year. World-class track and field stars from Europe's eight leading athletics nations will be taking part. The leading nation and the runner-up go through to the World Cup in Barcelona next month. The European Cup Final, today at 3.30, only on ITV. Watch the winners on ITV, the athletics channel. Thank <laughs> you.